Okay, so the fries are done and the fish is done. Now she added a little bit of oil into this pot. It's about into don't put too much. Not too much, just a little like depending on how much is still left. And now she's gonna cook the masala in there. Oh, I forgot to put onions. Oh, first she was supposed to uh, sauté the onions. It'll be fine though. So for this batch, and the reason she's doing it in batches is just like how much will fit in a in one platter, basically. See the, all the masala at the bottom? Mm -hmm. Not loosened up. Oh, I see. Okay. So if you keep it on a very high heat, it burns and then you cannot use it. Okay, so you have to, when you're cooking the fish, don't cook it at too high. And then you'll be using, uh, nothing's going to get lost basically, all the flavor. So now you're just cooking basically all this tomato paste and tomatoes, letting them get cooked. And I'm going uh, see, I can see that this masala, uh, may not be enough. I'll put a, a little bit of uh, lasanadu, maybe one teaspoon of lasanadu, one teaspoon of uh, uh, coriander and cumin powder. Mm -hmm. And I'll test, oh, and we have to put a green chili, half of a green chili in this. So I can see it's all kind of getting into a paste here. Like my salad. And it's not very runny, it's supposed to be thick. Now, test this, I think. It, uh, I can put the juice in it because we, we are afraid that maybe the fish is too salty. Mm -hmm. But this is not salty at all. Yeah, that's not salty. So, when, when the fish goes in this, mm -hmm. Uh, all the so salt from the fish will be sucked into this masala. Okay. So it won't be salty. Mm -hmm. 